day 751 and chilly after yesterday's rain and wind. But thankfully it's not raining right now because I know the pup would freak out again. She didn't have an easy time trying to get ready to go outside. She took her time. We waited about three hours to try to go for the walk we normally go on. And even then it was pulling teeth. She was mixed and she's like, I really gotta go to the bathroom, but I don't wanna go outside. I mean, she could hear all the rain and everything. So she knew it was a bad situation, but gotta go outside. She tucked back in the door and then got her to walk down the hallway and then just gave her a little pull, like, come on, just go real quick. And it wasn't as bad, it was just probably cold, but she did get a little shocked. She said we didn't like the weather when she came in. I think her adrenaline was going because she she had the zoomies a little bit and was running around <clears throat> jumping on and off the couch <clears throat> looking for a toy. And you see she was hyper and ready to go. And had to be back inside. And today's not like that, which is very nice. At least right now it's not. It's funny how yesterday turned out so nice and then got so crazy. Hopefully today is in part two. Alright, let's head back. Gamora. Want a puppy treat? Okay. Good girl. Good girl. Alright, let's go. I do have to say, I still feel a little tired from yesterday. I'm trying to make it a point to get extra sleep. I think it was just shy, just shy of getting six hours of sleep. And the last two nights before that were right around four. But I know that having to do that second run yesterday was just as mental fatiguing as it was physically fatiguing and oh, I think it's just saying that helps lift that weight off my shoulders to know why I was stressed out why it got to me and now I mean, even this morning I felt taxed as soon as I got up I just I still felt that little bit of stress on there. Just, it was still eating away at me, even though it was a new day. I think I just needed to say it did stress me out. I'm, a, I'm mad that it, it stressed me out. It's upsetting that it stressed me out. But having said that, it helps me get over it. I feel just better. Now I can continue on with my day. And let yesterday be yesterday. In the past, I can just enjoy it today. And that feels better. Better way to start the day. Gamora. Hey, baby. We were just enjoying the view. Came back in from a little walk. Pup was a little too feisty and was barking at too many people, so I was like, alright, gonna cut it a little short. You got too much energy, so we've been playing catch in here. But now she's just looking out the door. I don't know what she's staring at, but she's good. As long as she's good, I'm happy. But waiting. Right now I'm just waiting, get ready to go for the run. It's 6 30, got another maybe 20 minutes and head out. But the group run today. In the chat, it was supposed to be a two mile tempo, time trial, however you want to call it. So I'm hoping that's the case. I'm going to bring more of a 5K road shoe or racing shoe to kind of gear up and see how it works out.
a little excited, a little nervous. I've had this, I don't know if it's a mental block or physical block, but I can hit the six lows fine, but I can't dip below. So today I'm going to try to keep both miles under six minute pace. Will it happen? I have no idea. Am I hopeful? Yes. Hoping for good things. Hoping to build on the two mile from there. We will see. Back in the car, drove to Fry's. Gonna get some food. Might get some sushi here if they have some salmon ones. And then get some pasta stuff for tomorrow. Gonna go kind of full out pasta with probably meatballs and the garlic bread, maybe even some other, uh, some bread with, uh, gar not garlic, but uh, pesto sauce kind of thing, pesto spread. So gotta do a little shopping now so I don't have to do anything tomorrow, but the run went well. It did, the first mile was 5.33, then did 5.32, and then 5.45, so that's when we dropped off. And after that, I said, okay. The group was going up to four, and I said, okay, I'm not gonna push that. I'm not gonna try to burn out after that. I was already 15 seconds at significant drop. So I said, I'm good with three, but mentally I know about where I'm at for 5K pace. And we had a two minute break. So we did about a mile warm up. Excuse me, and then mile, two minute break, mile back, two minute break, mile back, two minute break. And after that I waited, I was like, okay, I'm done. I'm not gonna try to race, run it anymore. And I waited for the next group and I asked if anyone was gonna just easy run it back or what kind of work, what kind of pace they were aiming for. And if they were gonna do the workout, they can keep going. And then uh, the girl ended up doing the fourth one. And then my buddy Josh was there and we just ran together. and. I think we ran 7.30, so that was probably 7.45 pace. And we are just chatting the whole time, very casual. He was letting me know he's got his tickets to you, his you. Josh let me know he got tickets for his flight in April for his marathon there. I was like, all right, awesome, congratulations. Then we talked a little bit about how running's going, how the weeks have been going. We just caught up a little bit, and I mean, we waited for a few more people to get back from their run. And then Kurt was there, talked to him a bit. Justin was there, Jason was there, and then Josh. And so it was the five or six of us, six. And so we had just chatted a little bit. And then made our way back. And then we didn't stay out there too long, it got a little chilly. So, got in the car, drove away, drove out. Now I'm here at Fry's to get food. It's the end of the night. We got some tasty chocolate almonds I'm snacking on. We've also got some laundry. Basket of laundry I'm trying to fold before I go to bed. And I got some more towels and sheets that I'm trying to get done. I'm hoping it doesn't take too long, but I did just throw a load in the wash. It is 10.30. But that's the towels and stuff. I don't need them for tomorrow or tonight. But I just need to make sure I throw them in the dryer at least before I go to bed because I don't want that water mildew smell on them, you know? Especially on the towels. But who am I kidding? I don't want that smell on anything, but happy with the day. The workout went surprisingly well. I'm glad I at least tried three. I fell off a little bit in the third mile, which is fine. I'm glad I got to talk to Josh a little bit on the way back. Always enjoy the times we get to talk either during the run or after the run. That's it. I'm starting to do some pull-ups. I did 40. I'm a little bit winded right now. 
So I did 40 for tonight. I'll probably just finish with some abs or lunges. It's probably going to be abs. I think the workout today and kind of the double run yesterday or the longer than expected run yesterday. It's probably a little taxing, so I don't need to do any more leg workout right now. But it's something I could build into down the road right now. I'm trying to stay healthy. And there's the race on Saturday, so I don't need to burn my legs out anymore. Let's so probably just do some core. And I need to go to bed. Getting up again tomorrow at 4.30 to go for a run and get to work early. And then race back and pick up after that, so. <sighs> that's the day, that's tomorrow. This is good night. So, run your life with health and happiness. Have a good night.